Alright, so for today, we're gonna be testing out what part of the bus is actually the safest. I honestly would think that the back of the bus is always the safest. I mean, that's where I was, I was, I was, I mean, where else would you be? I mean, you know, we can definitely analyze this, but I mean, the back of the bus was where somewhat, like, the vibe was. You, would, you were able to eat because nobody would able to was able to see you. The middle of the bus was those who wanted to go the ride, you know, just talk and stuff. In the front of the bus, it's those that, you know, those are, you know, teachers are usually up there. And the bus driver really never wanted to talk to anybody. It's, there's always like, bus drivers are, I don't know, but yeah, it's, it's kind of the anatomy of a full bus. And you know, you had your typical, like, sat on a truck chassis and then it was just a bunch of sheet metal. So, you know, how safe was this thing? And, you know, or yeah, at this or at risk of a uh, possible injury. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be uh, be doing today, and hopefully you guys enjoy this. So yeah, let's get right into it. Yeah. So full disclaimer: don't at all use this as an argument. Just it's completely satire. But yeah, enjoy it. That was your typical bus, of course. You know, stuff you would definitely get into was uh. You know, speed bumps, regular potholes here and there. So yeah, I mean, so we're gonna put this bus to the test and see what actually it was, or what it actually would stand for. But you know, you just hit a few speed bumps, nothing crazy. You know, the whole right door is completely gone as of now. So, you know, leaves the only logical question is where would you get out? Obviously, get out the back door. That's not what we're looking for. And I mean, you can always hit a few, you know, more speed bumps. You know, you hit a few jumps here and there, another few jumps. And overall, you know, you'd be safe. You know, you'd hit another thing on the way, and you know, your bus would technically be still in one piece. But, you know. It would start overheating, of course, and then, you know, school funding would lack. But yeah, we'd end up with a bus like The Simpsons, but... Yeah. So, another thing is... You know, the risk was if a car hit you. I think a car would just go right under that, you know? There's no risk. Maybe a truck would actually be posing danger to it. Alright, so right here we definitely got our you know, school bus, and we got our truck, you know? Honestly, I still hold my belief that the back of the bus was the safest, but obviously, you know, we're gonna hit this. We're gonna hit this truck. You know, we're just gonna get, let it get some speed, of course. I mean, because surely a 20 mile per hour hit wouldn't bend. But let's just say we were to go and theoretically hit this, you know, right across the middle. What exactly would happen? Well, most likely, if you ended up on the right side, you'd probably get obliterated. Definitely. Truck-wise, eh, this thing's pretty much a hole, and you'd probably flip over. But I don't think this is enough testing. I mean, obviously, gotta really know how good these things were. So, we're gonna do just about that now. All right, I don't know if we have to remind ourselves or not, but I'm for sure confident that if you ever rode in one of these, you knew that the ride was horrible. It was rough. It was horrendous. So, uh, we gotta get to this, and hopefully once we turn this corner, we gotta figure out if this thing would actually last, you know, a good run at this. So, that's what we're gonna do. You know, it just casually runs through a few potholes, nothing crazy. Potholes get bigger and bigger. I mean, technically this thing should survive, right? Why wouldn't it? I know we hit another big jump right there. A few more speed bumps. There's some bad holes right there. And the whole bus flips over. Okay. Yeah. Alright, we gotta get back to that. All right. 
Alright, so after, you know, a few kids get out and push the bus in an act of showing off who's actually boss in the class, you know, we're hitting on a few, uh, I guess the stuff that's on the side of the highway, you know, the whole thing's standing up pretty nicely. But, yeah, uh, I still wonder if this engine's gonna make it, because so far in every test, the only thing we've proven is that this old damn bus can't cool itself off. That was rough, because then again, these things have no to see. Or if they did, it would never appear in the make stand towards the center of the heat. You know, we're just casually, head gasket is damaged, it don't matter. It's not even gonna make it back to the back shop anymore. This thing doesn't gnarly hit, another few bumps right there. Whew. And the whole bus flips over again, and I thought we were gonna be able to do it through the And yeah, that's, we just pull it back, you know? Gonna pull it back on its wheels and it'll keep going. These things were actually reliable. Oh, you know, how quick are we to forget? You know, maybe this is where it actually meets its match, you know? We gotta figure out how the hell. You know, we hit, we missed it. Oh! That has to hurt, but. Then again. I said, in the back of the bus, you're good. Front of the bus, not so good. You know, we'll just pull this thing forward. It's able to go a few more thousand miles. Nothing too crazy. And my computer's about to blow up. But yeah, this is about it. It's taken, and then, yeah. Oil overheats, everything. You know, this whole bus is a body blow. It's a thickened time bomb. But the back of the bus is still proven to be the best. There's nothing wrong. All right, now we're actually getting into the testing. I mean, imagine, you know, you, you would have to figure out if this thing would actually able to, was able to survive a ski jump, you know? You know, we're just barreling down, you know, it's 100 miles per hour plus. Nothing seriously should happen, you know? Nothing serious except for the engine suffering severe valve train damage and the seat. What? You know, it loses its hood, but it's all called weight reduction. You know, it's all called speed. Oh. All right. Well, that last one wasn't really that eventful. I mean, it definitely could be better. But you know. How about we get a perspective from the inside? You know, let's take a perspective from my view of this experiment. Back of the bus, you know, we're just barely down. It's whoosh, easy, you know. Bus driver's pinning the guardrail, and nothing crazy is about to happen. Look at me, you know, he hits the jump on a. Oh, okay, we started flipping. Uh. You know, the whole front end is starting to go off. Hmm, I'm afraid to know what this thing looks like from the outside. However, I will know that the back of the bus pretty much is intact, from what I can tell. And like I said, the back of the bus is pretty much intact, the front of the bus is kind of screwed. Those in the middle, those in the middle really got the most of it. But I mean, this is, I mean, this still isn't real testing. We gotta get to like the bottom of it, for, for real. All right, now this is some real testing, you know? Especially after, you know, you go on a field trip, you know, and camping and stuff. I mean, I went camping, man. Right? I can't remember this one, but, um... Man, you know, I'm just going back, and, you know, it's just... Just going down the highway the whole... You know, jump over the river casually, because the river... The bridge is no longer there, you know. And we're just hitting this down, like, a hundred something miles per hour. And we're hitting a few jumps, you know, the engine gives out entirely. Um, bus driver's feeling a bit cocky, so he's gonna hit that speed jump right there. The whole front end of the suspension, the whole suspension of the bus as a whole just gives out. You know, this whole thing is giving up about it, and... 
and yeah, this thing is coming down to a, uh, a surprising stop. And yeah, the whole back of the bus is still intact. I'm in the middle. All right, we'll give some credit to the front, you know. Everything's pretty good, still. But I think it get definitely better. I think we should definitely get back. Because, I mean, so far the back of the bus is proven, but we haven't outright proven that the rest of the bus is relatively dangerous. So, you know, we, we gotta get to that. You know, I think this is the only condition that you would actually need to wear a seatbelt on these things. Because half the time, us does not lie to ourselves, we didn't wear seatbelts. You know, maybe if you did drive off a sudden cliff, you would need to. Then again, that's considering that the seatbelt wasn't ripped off by the last batch of kids that was in the bus. You know, you just keep hitting these and the bus still holds up. It's incredible. You know, the back of the bus is the best. It's, look, it's soft as it's in terms of suspension. The front of the bus is on the floor at this point. And yeah, the wheels gave out. But yeah, like I said, this is the best part. And yeah, and if you suddenly fell off the cliff with more, you know, you're the first one to get out the back because, you know, priorities go first. People who choose wisely are the ones to get out of the best, the worst situations first. That's how it should be. Not really, but, you know, in this case, you win.